everybody it is travel day and i'm ready i'm in my airport fit it's honestly almost 12 a.m it's almost midnight and i want to leave at midnight but i might leave just now actually because i don't know what else i'm gonna do um while i'm here oh what's happening to my voice oh i just came from having a worship session and i was screaming so my voice is feeling a little bit husky but that's fine um i really just wanted to travel super super comfortable so i'm just wearing a tracksuit i'm wearing my tracksuit and i'm wearing my slides i've never traveled in slides before but my brother tells me it's really comfortable <laughs> so this is our airport fit my flight leaves at 3 a.m 3 a.m and it arrives at 7 a.m so I will see you guys in Rwanda. Did I even tell you guys where we're going? I don't know, but that's where we're going. We're going to Rwanda. <laughs> so we have we've checked in now. And I'm currently just waiting for boarding time. The boarding time is at what's the time? The boarding time is at like 220. It's currently it's currently 112 so I have quite a long time until we can actually board but I have a book that I'm reading <laughs> how to communicate with confidence because this is a bit daunting and it's actually hitting me right now that as a junior I am going to a whole new country <laughs> about a project which I know but it's still scary so I'm trying to brush up on my confidence skills and people are staring at me but I feel like at this point my mindset is they're gonna see me today and never again so why should I care? Yeah. I know you about it about it when we turn off the light that's right i know that you want me want me oh i ain't no fool oh, i ain't no fool we've been going at it at it for a minute or two yeah, yeah. darling you got the sweetest heart and i don't want it to break that frown on your face got me hurting i'm afraid it's too late it's not that i don't trust you i don't trust myself I said patience is a must, boo Things will turn out well Lost count of the years Since I've been here By your side in and out Through all these tears We can do it again It ain't no problem Like a switch Since we stay more than friends I know you Know my photo still hangs on your door And I'll show you
Shall I compare to a summer day? She's the sun, she fill up the gray. Quench my thirst, she's my lemonade. The yellow that I couldn't paint. Shall I compare to a summer day? Just like the sun, it will never fade. The cool breeze in the shade, my four leaves to the plate, right to my mistakes. sneakers because we've got a lot of excursion-y things to do today so I don't I want to be comfortable you know but I'm running late and we need to go and have breakfast because they pick us they pick me up at 8 it's 7 20 right now um yeah it's 7 20 right now I'm probably not going to be able to like vlog when I'm actually there because of the people that i'm gonna be around um i don't want my clients in the video obviously so i do know that we're we're ugh, we're visiting the genocide memorial museum today which is exciting um looking forward to seeing that let's go and have our breakfast I am so exhausted. I got back from work around 4.30 ish and I was so tired so I just passed out. I didn't sleep but I was just lying in bed honestly. Today was such a hectic day. It was such a long day. I keep looking here because I want to make sure it looks okay. But yeah, it was just such a tiresome day. We did so much walking around and yeah i feel like right now i really just want to go and eat and then sleep i don't want to do anything else at all that's pretty much that's it that's really it um that's it that's all we want to do and then we're gonna call it a night and i'm probably gonna see you guys tomorrow i wish i could speak more but i really am just so tired I'm so tired. This video is gonna be like five minutes because I'm always just too tired to pick up the camera and actually vlog. But yeah, um, did I even tell you what I did today? I don't know if I did, but we went to the Genocide Museum, which is basically um, a museum where they showcase the genocide that happened in Rwanda in 1994. And to me, that was just crazy to see all the things that happened and to think that they happened less than 30 years. Well, this year, 2024, will be 30 years, but less than 30 years. Basically, the people who, the, the culprits and some of the victims, the survivors, are still alive today. Like, that's wild. That was just wild to me. It's, it's really crazy. And like, I don't even want to talk about this a lot. I feel like, you have to see it to to understand but even even seeing it you don't understand fully because yeah i'm not gonna talk about this but it was just very it was gut-wrenching it was tough and yeah you know what guys let's I don't know if I should shower first or if I should go eat first. I feel like I should shower first so that when I come back from eating, I can just sleep. But I also am so lazy to shower. Should I just not shower today? No, we can't do that. We have to shower. We have to shower, right? We gotta shower. Okay, we're gonna shower now. And then we're gonna go and eat. And I'll take you guys along with me for that. Thank you. 
this is my fit for the day. I just don't know if I should wear this with like flats or with these pumps. You know, I feel like these are very casual and then these are a bit more, you know. Let me show you. I tried these all at home also, so I do. How far do I have to go? This. I should have to look in the mirror. Or. Or the flats. Either way, they're both comfortable because those heels are also comfortable. Let me look at the agenda actually. This will help me decide. We are going to mini con. Policy strategy implementation plan. So I think we can do the heels. Tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be the what? The visits to various places. Maybe I should change my top and wear those with the cream top so that it looks better. I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's look at that. Let's look into that. I also need to go have breakfast like yesterday. This is the top I'm talking about, by the way. Let's try it out and see how we look. Okay. I I like it. I like it. I just need to tuck this one in though. I didn't want to tuck in though because I feel like it's gonna be very in a nichora sana. In a nichora sana. Oh, ooh, okay, I'm not mad at this at all. I actually really like it. Ooh. Okay. I do need to wear a top inside though because it's very see-through. But yeah, I think this is our fit for today. And then we'll do the palms with the black tomorrow. Let me put on a shirt inside. And then, yeah, let me put on a shirt inside. Where is the shirt? I really quickly just want to put some powder onto my face because I have been glowing too much <laughs> lately. And in pictures, it looks a bit too much. Like, we love the glow, but you gotta tone it down a bit. I wanna just matte out my face. Sometimes I don't know if, it's, if I'm glowing or if I'm sweating, to be honest. <laughs> It's a lot. Oh, but today I have a white top on, so I don't want like glow marks. I mean, what powder marks on my shirt? I still can't believe, it's still crazy to me to believe that um, my workplace literally sent me alone to represent them in a whole other country. Like, proud of myself and all, but the pressure is on because I'm with, um, I'm with much older, much more professional people who know what they're doing, who know, you know, who know their stuff. And here I am. Still very early in my career, by the way. But, you know, I'm grateful for the opportunity. I'm grateful to be here 
and we're gonna take the challenge and hope we rise to it. Oh. Okay. I think this is fine. This is enough. And so we're gonna go. I managed to get one of my favorite drinks that I don't get in South Africa, which is Fanta Pineapple. It just tastes different when it's from a bottle, so I like that. last day and I'm gonna miss this view more than anything <laughs> it's so pretty I'm walking from the hotel to a pharmacy to check if they have malaria meds I am convinced I don't have malaria but my boyfriend says I should get them anyway because I might have it and then I'll be here I'll be back in SA where it's not over the counter anymore so better safe than sorry I think it's a waste of money but okay Do you have malaria medicine? For treatment. You don't have it. You don't have it. I can refer you to another pharmacy that has this. Is it nearby? Is it far? Okay, let me double check it. But what, what does the prevention one do? It's called melanin. Does it, it, you take it before? I take it before you reach that place where it is. Like, oh. Like okay. seven, seven days before you actually eat the first of that. Oh, okay. Okay, same. And then one day until you leave. Oh, okay. So, uh, how much would the treatment one be? 8,500. But you don't have it here. Where's the, the pharmacy? In town. I can't walk there. <laughs> <laughs> I can actually tell them to bring him in. But how long would that be? Mm -hmm. Let me check. Okay, thank you. Well, I tried and they do not have. They don't have malaria meds. ice cream and I'm obsessed with it <laughs> good morning guys it is our last day I'm actually going for my last I need to put some on my lips actually let's go do that it's our last day and I'm going for my last work thing I think we have a lot of tours so you know this is, this is my fit for the day it's just a little comfortable we're gonna be given ppe anyway so i just thought you know what let's go with flat shoes today i'm yet 
I'm yet to do my hair and like my makeup. Well, I'm just putting powder on my face to reduce this glow because my glow has been a bit too much, <laughs> like I said. And I have a new pimple right here, which you know, we don't. I really want to go back home, guys. I'm so tired. <laughs> Like, I've enjoyed this experience and I'm so grateful for it to think that, you know, I'm here. I was here in Rwanda for like a week. Crazy. Another country ticked off. Love that for me. You know, I love that for me. I prayed about getting a job that would take me around the world. And so far, I've been to two countries. I've been to Eswatini, I've been to Rwanda. And I'm ready for more experiences. <laughs> um, but essentially i am grateful and i am grateful but i am ready to go back home i miss home and yeah i just i miss home we have another trip coming up soon but this one is not even for work it's just like personal it's a personal trip um but thank you guys so much i know this video has been all over the place i know that even as i was i think it was just last night i'm like i'm never gonna record this because i don't think i vlogged enough to make it a whole video to make it like um, a purposeful valuable video but hey man it, it's what we it's what we have and i just wanted to address this comment over here um so i know for the longest time i've been vlogging about school and work but school and work is what i've been doing for the longest time and this is a lifestyle channel that is my life and i know it can get monotonous when i'm always you know either studying doing my research or going to work but i would hope that you like my viewers and my subscribers would like me enough to go through all of that with me because essentially i am taking you along the ride for all of that and just trying to give you guys hope as well if you are also in your study young professional part of life then this is just your solace right um but that's what that's what's going to be happening for a while you know and it's good that i've submitted my research now only now but we still got work and work is still going to be a big part of this channel and just finding that balance between work and our actual life and figuring out what our actual life outside of school is as well you know um so i just hope that you guys are gonna stick around for that journey and will be part of it will be present will comment and like subscribe if you haven't and like and so on so that we can continue to grow and we can continue to do this thing you know the ultimate goal is to build generational wealth and we're still figuring out how that's going to be with regards to relationships i feel like if you follow my instagram you would know this right and I'm not going to put out my relationship um, on YouTube like that because, hey man, people change at any point in time, and I don't, I don't want to give somebody the publicity and then have to be like, oh, actually, no, that's that's not happening. But what are my views on relationships? I feel like if you think you're ready for it, go for it. You know, within reason. And maybe we can talk about it more in another video. But I'm not going to do a Q&A either because Q&As don't do too well. Y'all don't like me enough to sit through a Q&A video. So I will just be addressing um, questions that you might have that you put down in the comment section down below in my vlogs. And once I see that interaction and that engagement grow, then maybe I would consider doing like a full Q&A video. But as of right now... Um, after being inconsistent for a long time, I'm really just trying to build back that trust with my viewers um, Because obviously views have been lower and this is just 
it's the reality of YouTube. You know, if you're not consistent for a long time, people forget about you. People don't actually, they're not interested anymore. So my views have been way lower lately, my views. Um, and I just need to be like, I need to push through that and be like, oh, okay, but like, you got to work for it now. I'm practically starting over, right? So I'm not in a position to be like, oh, hey guys, this is where I've been because nobody cares anymore, you know? And that's just the harsh truth that I need to tell myself. So I'm not going to do like a sit down Q&A video. I will address what Whatever questions you might have if it's if you dm me on instagram then i'll answer you there if you want me to address it like this then you can leave it in my comments but we're always open to suggestions and always open to you know feedback so also if you are tired of the work school videos i'm open to suggestions as well apart from the q a videos um and we can try it from there we can we can figure it out but Anyway, we're still here in Rwanda right now. Let us go and have our last breakfast. I'm probably not going to vlog it, or maybe I will. I don't know. We shall see. Okay. Hi. Oh, I am scrambling to close this bag. Oh! Guys, when I arrived here, this bag was fine. It was... I need to check out in 10 minutes and my bag will not close like I don't even understand because I didn't buy that much stuff I know I bought stuff but it's not that much <sighs> hi hey guys oh let me fix my hair Ugh, I am all packed up that's my jacket I struggled with my bag if you guys saw how I struggled to close this bag I was lying on top of my bag I was trying to sit on it i was doing everything that i could possibly have done felt too hot took off my jacket and that's it over there but we are saying goodbye to our room we're saying goodbye to rwanda um i'm heading to the airport just now it's really been a, a very nice trip if i'm being honest i loved it like i love okay i think i love the hotel more than anything but Rwanda has been it's so clean. It's so safe like you can walk in the middle of the night And this is me because I'm coming from Johannesburg, but like even in Tanzania I mean it's safer than Johannesburg, but Here you can walk at any hour of the night Don't do that though. Like just don't do that You can walk at any hour of the night and just you know nobody's nobody's looking at you nobody's trying to talk to you nobody's doing nothing everybody's minding their own business and i love that so much it's such a peaceful place there is not a single pothole that i saw like the roads are just phenomenal they are amazing and yeah i know the, the hotel oh my god i wish i wish i could go home because i am ready to go home but I wish I could go home and carry this room with me because it's so cute. The service has been amazing, top tier stuff. Like top tier. I absolutely loved it. And I think it made my stay that much better. Uh, of course, I didn't have to pay for it. But, but we are grateful. We are really super grateful for it. this entire opportunity. It is time to say bye though. Bye bed. Bye TV. Bye bathroom. Bye view. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm gonna miss that pool. Oh. It's just been a really good experience and I'm glad that I came. I'm glad that I did it. Love it so much. Um, but yeah, that's that's that I guess. Let's go. Let us get ourselves home because we've got so much to unpack for the, from the trip for work, of course, and just get back into our own space. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I really, really, really hope. I hope it's it's it makes sense because to be quite honest, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to know until I edit and I hopefully will be able to just edit everything and put in all the snippets so that it makes like a complete video. But what is the time? It's 6.58. My checkout time is 7. So let's actually make our way downstairs.